Hey guys, welcome back to the show. This is Connor from Out of Work. If this is your first time here, I hope you consider subscribing because all we do is fishing and outdoors. Today we're going to be talking about how to find good deals. Good deals can be brand new items on clearance or they can be an old tried and true piece of equipment that you've always want but you don't want to pay full price for it and you might have to buy used. A great example of that is this. This is a reel, the Daiwa Sertate reel. It's one of their upper end reels. It's a $500 reel and I paid $297 for it. Brand new. Here's another one. This is one of the reels where as soon as I started fishing, I was like, man, I gotta get my hands on one of these. It's the Shimano Stella. It's an older one too. It's about 10 years old. Still perfect as can be. I had to buy it used. This is like a $700 reel. I paid 400 for it in near mint condition. But I did get it from Japan. This is a rod and reel combo that I paid ridiculously good prices for. So this is the Dallas D's SVTW. It's a $500 reel. Paid $400 for it. Brand new. This is a Loomis rod. It's a jerkbait rod. This rod goes for about $300. I paid $190, no, $165 for it. Shit. Okay, so that's a killer combo. That's my jerkbait set. So the guys are wanting to know. This is one of my favorite square bill cranking systems right now. This is a KVD Tour rod. Kevin Van Dam from Quantum Rod. It retails for about 180. I paid 60 bucks for it. Brand new. And this is a reel. This is a Daiwa Tatula. It's one of their entry level reels. Well, tournament entry level reels. I paid $106 for it. it retails for $170. So, bought a brand new too. That's pretty good, huh? So, if you guys want to know what that, that world is all about, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how I got these deals. Let me show you what I usually typically do. And this is how I got my Stella, okay? Uh, I bought the Stella about four years ago. It was near mint condition, but I did buy used, okay? It was like a five-year-old reel. And the other thing I wanted to uh, touch, upon, touch upon is when you buy a really good reel, I'm talking the, the top-of-the-line reels, they can be 10 years old, but they're still going to perform better than a brand-new reel from the mid to lower end. So what I do is I go Shimano, Stella, and you have to pick the size you want too. So for that one, I actually wanted a 4,000 size. Okay. And, and you're gonna get all these accessories. Okay, and some of these accessories sort of come from China and Japan. And don't get me wrong, sometimes you will have to buy from Japan. So here comes a, a couple of reels. And you, the only the only caveat here is you kind of have to know your reels, uh, because you might might not get a good deal. So here's a 2018 pre-owned, 500 bucks. This reel retails for 600, so it's not that great of a deal. So what you could do, what I've been doing is uh, <clears throat> make sure this is on lowest first. That way you can see from the bottom up. And don't get me wrong, Stellas are expensive. And here's here's a Stella from 1995, and they still want $235 for it. So these reels do hold their price, but I'm not paying $235 for an old reel. So I'm looking for the 2000 and basically 2000 up. Here's another one with $475. It's used, $475. Yeah, it, see, this is actually the one that I bought. I bought it about three years ago for $400. And things to keep track of is what kind of reel is it? It's a Shimano Stella, 
the 4000 XG, which is the high speed one. And this is the one that won an ICAST. So it's, you know, it's a really good reel. Look, look at the pictures really good. Just make sure there's not some crazy amounts of scratches on it because there is a, this is a used reel. So this reel is in decent condition, but I'm not paying over 400 for it. So the price is 444. Buy it now or add to cart. Uh, we're not we're not gonna buy it, uh, even though it's a 30 bucks. Now if this was on a bid system, I would bid up to 375 for this reel. This is in modern day. This is a this is a seven hundred dollar reel. Okay, so even though it's old, it's still it's still really good. But we're gonna pass on that. This comes from experience, but you want to pass on items. This one's five hundred pass, five hundred pass, four ninety nine pass. Uh, this one four thousand size. Let's see, got some scratches on it. Nothing major. Uh, once again, it's coming from the, from Japan. So, the weird thing is, if you're gonna buy anything from Japan, you gotta make sure uh, you pay through PayPal. Okay, that's the only thing I can tell you. Because if anything goes wrong, PayPal will be they'll they'll go after the guy, and you'll get to keep the money. Okay, and maybe keep the real too. But that's not a good see. Like today's search is not very good because there's not a lot of good deals. So that's how I usually get them. So I comb the the. You can say eBay classifieds uh, a lot. So change it to 3000 And like I said, this is high-end reels. Okay, this is high-end reels. Let's see what we got. Hmm. For some reason, the F, this reel of Stella is very expensive. This model is, this is just very expensive. Uh, this is uses it. They still want five hundred and five dollars for it. Okay, so so not 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 that good of a deal here. Okay, so let's let's change tactics here. Let's just go to Dawa. Let's, let's see what Dawa's got. Saltiga. Saltiga. Let's do the thirty five hundred. Hey, 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 hey! Look at this. This is this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So these are the. Granted, it it just got listed, and no one's buying on it. We need to take a look at this. The so Sotiga, 3500 high speed missing scratches, missing paint scratches. Good functional reel only. Okay, so this is obviously a used reel. The picture is. Blurry, which I don't like much. It looks like it's been abused. It looks like the reel has really been abused. For 200 though, for just 200 I think it'd be great for 200 But, see, for something like this, you don't actually want to bid on it yet. And there is a reserve on it, you know, so. Yeah. You could also, oh, here's the cool thing, okay. So, the uh, thing about eBay that is really good. And I think they do this well better than anybody else, Amazon included, is the whole make offer. So this guy's got a reserve in his mind. So he's not going to sell it unless it hits a certain price. He's probably going to want 300 bucks for it. Right? But you can always make an offer. And you can... <laughs> offers can be as low as you want to go. I mean, you can offer 250 and the guy will say, hey, yes or no. I'll get back to you, whatever. But the reel looks looks to be in pretty bad shape. Uh, the quality of the pictures is not very good. If I was going to buy this reel, I would request the guy to send me some more high quality pictures. Uh, but regardless, you know that's a that's like a this is a seven hundred dollar reel, and he wants two hundred and seventeen dollars for it. So this is one of the ones where you just want to add to wish list, and we'll we'll check on it later. I mean, dang, this bull by itself is already more expensive than the reel itself. Uh, we got parts, parts, 500, 600. I mean, once you once you start breaking that $600 mark, just go buy his, just go, go ahead and buy yourself a new reel. So, 
Okay, so that's that's how I do expensive reels, like the Stellas and Soltegas and things, things like that. I hardly ever pay full price. Now, if you want more of an entry reel or rods, uh, and we're going to cover lures too, so stick around for that. Uh, but for, let's just do Shimano Strike, right? That's a very popular spinning reel. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh, that's a tuning kit, though. That's not it. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. So, so there's a lot of like tuning kits, even though there's a cool picture. <clears throat> cool picture of a reel. It's just uh, paying thirty five dollars for bearings. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. So there's a lot of Stratix going for like $175 right now. That's actually a pretty good price. But I'm actually look, trying to find a better price than that. Right, and the other thing is, if you're in the Stratic world, you want the CI4. CI4, CI4 Plus. Those are the lightweight ones. After using a real lightweight reel, I don't want to use anything else. But these are not. It's not that good of a deal. Like they're they're like all these reels are about two hundred and thirty dollars. If I mean it's still a good deal. I mean if you look at this one, actually not that for some like this, it's one hundred ninety two dollars. It's come from China, which kind of sucks. So the thing that sucks about buying from out of country is if you get a reel that has a defect, the United States will not honor that. So you have to send it back to Japan. Or you could probably send it in and say, look, I know it's not under warranty, but I'll pay you to fix it. If that's the case, then you should just should have already just bought U.S. parts. I mean, U.S. reels. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of custom stuff in here, too. Uh, $200. See, yeah, once it breaks 200 I don't want to buy it. That's just, that's just me. So hopefully you guys are picking up on this. And this, this, goes, this goes through experience, too. So most of these reels, most of these Stratix, I mean, you know, let's go to, let's just go to <clears throat> Tackle Warehouse so we can compare prices. All right, so Stratix are about anywhere between 200 to 230, 230, 240 for the CI4 version. So, see, that's not, that's not even like a fair price, okay? It's got to be under 200 for me to be interested. Okay, so nothing with that. Let's look at some Daiwas. Daiwa. Uh, let's just do Tatula. LT. Light and tough. Tatula light and tough. I think these reels they retail for. Let's see. About 200 bucks. So 200 bucks. 200. So for 200. That's not bad. Right there. It's not a bad price. 160 bucks. It's not bad at all. It is uh, free shipping. So that's a that's a big plus too. So you're gonna save on shipping. Uh, it's a brand new reel. Yeah. So for something like that, see that that's what I'm talking about. So you want a brand new reel, but you don't want to pay retail price, right? So you go on eBay, you start looking at these, and you find these deals. That's a pretty good deal, right there. You can buy it right now. You don't even have to bid or anything. Of course, he doesn't offer a you know make offer option, but regardless, it's still it's still a good buy. So that's how that's a good buy. If I was in the market for a reel. Like a mid-grade reel. That's that's it right there. Wait, was that a Tattoo LT? Yeah, Tattoo LTs. Uh, and the prices kind of go from there. Everything else is kind of retail. So basically, once you go beyond like the first 20 listings, everything starts becoming retail. And don't get me wrong, you're going to... Like this reel right here is not worth two hundred and sixty six dollars. That's from Japan. That's probably the uh, shipping. Okay, so you wanna you wanna know what what the reels are worth, which means you go to Tack Warehouse, you go to your favorite 
parts store. You find the price, and then you come back and you do your research. So anything less than a hundred ninety nine is a good deal. So this doesn't look like it's a shop. It looks kind of like a guy's post, a random guy's post. So that's what you want. So that's a good one. That's a good price. See, this one's not brand new, and it's it's one hundred sixty. So that this actual listing is pretty good. Um, even uh, from see that's the thing. This one's come from China. This one's in the United States already. You want to buy in the United States if possible. So we found one good. We found one good deal. Um, here's the other one that I did. Daiwa Steez. SVT. For the bait casters. Ooh. Yeah, all these are a little high, if you ask me. Uh, pre-owned. Well, here's the other thing. Well, the pre-owned stuff is pretty cheap. But you got to kind of know what you're getting yourself into when you can buy a pre-owned. So this guy's got an upgraded handle. I have two of these reels. That's how I know that. Paint looks good, so that means he's, he's taking good care of his reel. And let's see. Used excellent condition from Louisiana with four dollar shipping charge, and it's bidding three hundred forty. See, I would I would probably pay up to about three seventy five for this one. That's that's about it. I wouldn't go any higher than that. But regardless, you know that's a that's a good find. That's a good handle. I don't know what kind of handle that is. He doesn't say. Uh, He added Boca ceramic bearings and a carbon fiber handle comes with a box cover. Yeah, so I don't know what kind of handle this is. I'm assuming it's just a cheap carbon fiber handle. If it's the Daiwa RCS, that's a hundred dollar handle. So if it is a hundred dollar handle, then it's worth completely worth that price. But uh, regardless, it's it's just a fair deal right now. Okay, so that's that's what I that's what I would say. Fair deal, still a good deal. Fair deal. Suppose it's really good. These reels retail for like five hundred bucks, so it's it's not bad. Let's see. This is a good deal. If it's brand new. Oh, where's that? Is it new? Ah, oh, it's slightly used. Slightly used, but still 300 and some, some. Uh, let's see. I don't know close up pictures of this. It is. It's got some dings here and there. 6 3 gear ratio. Oh, yeah. The thing about this is pay attention to your gear ratio, too. Don't get carried away just by the prices because you might buy something that you don't want. So this one's got some scratches and dings. Kind of like mine, just from normal wear and tear. Dings. It's not going to affect the performance of the reel but for 340 350 dollars that's a little much that's a little much that's a little much for me if it was brand new i think i would i would really jump on it because because i give you a reason why my two reels that i bought i bought them brand new in the united states for 400 so that's kind of the standards that i have for these reels right now uh, see, this one's not too bad, four fifty. But then again, it's a five hundred dollar reel. You can buy it locally, so you'd rather just buy local. So that's not that good of a deal, right there. All right, so let's talk about rods and reels too. So uh, when it comes to rods and reels, you have to pay attention to a certain brand that you like, whether it be Quantum, whether it be Lose, whether it be Dial, which might doesn't matter. Uh, you pay attention to things that are coming out. Like a very popular line that they offer, right? But every year or so, there's going to be a new reel that's going to come out into that line. And the current reel will be discontinued. So when they do something like that, uh, their reels, their brand new reels, are going to be pretty much on clearance. So for me, for a while there, I was buying... Uh, well, actually, put it this way. You guys have seen this before on our channel. We... Uh, we run KVD Tour cranking rods, 
and those are about $180 a piece. I bought them for $60. Okay, that's that's probably, and I bought three of them for like 60 bucks, and that was like the deal from like two years ago. And I don't know if they're still even available, but I know Kevin Van Dam. He just went to lose about a year ago, so we'll see if the uh, if there's any rods left. Dang, this is crazy right here. <laughs> so if you guys want to get in on, this is just the team KVD. It's not the tour version, but it's still not bad. It's still pretty good. But this is what I would call a pretty dang good cranking rod. But of course it's used. Dang, yo, twenty five dollars. I mean four dollars and twenty five dollars to ship. I mean you might, if you want a cranking rod, like you want a rod that. Uh, throws a crankbait. You know those mid-depth crankbaits? This is a good one for $4. So you can jump on that one. And the guy says it's in good condition, right? Let's see. Condition is used. Really good shape with minimal signs of usage. All guys are straight. Ship USPS priority. Yeah, so that's not a bad deal. You had to have to buy. You do have to buy aftermarket. I mean, not aftermarket. You do have to buy used. Alright, so these are all just other stuff we're looking at. Alright, so anyways, go back. Go back to my listing. Yeah, I guess they're, they're pretty much done. We don't have much on that right now. Alright, so let's go look at, that's basically what I do, that's what I do a lot of times, is um, when I notice a pro with a signature series has gone to somebody else's uh, company, uh, I will comb eBay, and a lot of times you'll find a lot of good deals. Let's look at lures also, so when you're looking at lures, right, uh, a lot of times, if you're going to buy one lure, you're not going to get a good deal, but if you buy multiple lures, you get a good deal, so this is this is kind of what I do. For, for a moment there, I used to do a lot of Yozuri's. So I do a Yozuri, and I do a lot. Okay? So you have to buy a lot. You know, you have to buy a bunch is what it comes down to. And sometimes, so you get these, like, twos and threes. Uh, I mean, you got to go find them, too. See, like, this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good example, right? You have to buy a lot. And some of the lures are used. Some are not. Uh, they all look like Yozuri's. Okay. They look decent. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, they're used, but heck, it's $11. It's $15 for all four. It's not bad, you know, it's not bad. But the, the good deals are going to be the ones where you can find four of those, all brand new, and it'll be like 30 bucks. So it'll be like half price for everything. So let's just keep going. We're in that $20 range now. Those rattle traps. Rattle traps. This is not bad. I usually I usually like to throw these little crankbaits, so that's actually not a bad deal. I wonder if there's a offer option. Yeah, so you can make offer too. So for twenty eight bucks, free shipping. If you offer them twenty four, twenty five, you know, reasonable offer. He'll probably take it from you. You know, so that's up to you if you want. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Yozuri Crystal Minnow Long Cast. Mm. Yeah, look good, you know. These, no, nah, actually, for that price, it's not that good. Let's keep going. See, this is what I like to do. When I want to buy some, I buy the ones where there's a lot. There's a lot of them in there together. Kind of like this, in that $30, $40 range. And once in a while, you get, you run across a real good, like, real good deal. Like, what the heck? Like this. What is this? <laughs> Let's take a look at this. This is somebody's garage clean out. <laughs> Crappy jigs. Got a, it's got a little bit of everything in there. Got rage bugs. This is like buying a uh, 
buying like someone's container, storage yard, or storage wars, you know. Thirty-one dollars, thirteen dollars ship. It's from New Jersey. It's it's everything. <laughs> you know, so you know, sometimes you get some good deals like that too. Ooh, ninety dollars. Uh, that's a little. That's a little pricey, but still, it's not bad. If you do the if you do the actual pricing on all these, then you might come out on top if you want to buy all of it. That's the other thing too. Okay, some of these are getting ridiculous, so we're done with that. So Yozuri's not that good. So we can also do, at one time I was big into Rapalas, so you can do a Rapala a lot. Yeah, you gotta watch out for these uh, X-Rap style. Uh, lures. They're not. They're not actually repels. Let's see. Uh, scroll down. Scroll down until we see something. Uh, let's just grab the cursor and scroll all the way down. A lot of this is junk. Don't get me wrong. It's like going through a flea market, but you do find some pretty cool stuff every once in a while. Nothing, nothing that good. I mean, hold on. Let's just scroll down real fast. A lot of old stuff. Page two. Not a lot of old stuff. A lot of not so good deals either. Wait. Actually, that's not a bad deal. Husky jerks. There's five for twenty bucks. There's like five dollars a piece. I think those are seven dollar lures. So that's not bad if you like that stuff. Buy five of them too. I mean, they're all the same. This is what I'm saying, right? So say you like. Say you like this one. Okay. Say you like that one. You want to buy five of them anyways. You know, you go to a local store. It might cost you thirty bucks. You buy here, it's 25. That's what I'm talking about. Back when we were so into the Yozuri uh, topwaters, we would we would find these deals and we'd buy them all the time. And like I said, these deals they come and they go. They're not they're not always here. So so we uh, let's just do Gibbs Gibbs lot. No, nope. I don't know if I spelled that right or not. No, that's not it. That's not it. Lord. Okay, so not not that much of a good deal with the games. Usually it works better with the brand names. Let's do lore lot. Generic uh, names here. And man, you get so many generic stuff here too. So to, to kind of weed, weed out the generics, all you got to do is uh, go to the prices right here. Start at $30. And there you go. So if you get nothing else to do, this is pretty good. Actually, what is this? I want to see what this is. Lucky Craft USA series. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. Not the color that one. But you guys kind of have a f idea of what I'm saying, right? Because 
this is what you gotta do to get some real good deals. Now, don't overbuy because you're gonna get into that problem real quick too. So here's a bunch of chatter baits. Somebody's making them. And actually, that's not a bad chatter bait. Well, somebody's bending them on purpose. Nice stubby little hook. Not bad. Thirty bucks for five. So they're like six bucks a piece. That's not bad. I don't know. Got to buy them and try them. I don't know if they'll vibrate properly or not. But as you can see, I mean, they're, 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 the world is going crazy. It seems sometimes. I try not to buy anything from China. Okay, that's the thing too about these lures. Okay, there's too much to look at. Yeah, it's it's basically endless. It'll go forever. Yeah. So maybe you gotta stick with uh, something that you can understand. Lucky craft lot. Uh, let's see if we got some some lucky crafts. Hmm. That's expensive, but what is it? Simon. Oh yeah, the other guy is a uh, Simon Sports. This guy, his shop is pretty legit. I've bought from a lot, a lot of times. Lovecraft BDS twos. Well, I think that's uh, enough for today. I think I hope you guys learned something. Um, let me know if I missed something or if you guys want me to touch base on something else. Because, like I said, it's not a guarantee. The guaranteed way is to go actually go order, this, go order them directly from somebody. But when you're looking for good deals, um, give this a shot. Because you might find what you want. And it's not like you're always going to find it on the first try, okay? So here's a, here's a really good one, I think. 20 Lucky Craft Pointers. Yeah, this is... <laughs> If you're into jerk baits, if you are into jerk baits, this might be the jackpot for you. Let me look at it. It's eighty-five dollars. No bids. He's got one day left on it. If you give him eighty-five, that's yours. Just saying, you know. Look at it. This is like clearance aisle from a like store, you know. And then there's this one, the LVR. Oh dang! I might have to buy this one. I might have to buy this one. This one's pretty legit. This is like for white bass. <laughs> I mean, I don't throw them enough anymore, but I like I like this color right here. That's what's popping up at me. And these three. That's what's popping up at me. But this is a lot. This is a lot of those baits for 90 bucks. I mean, it's you have to spend a little bit more, but dude, that's like your whole like year supply. <laughs> for 90. It's a pretty good deal. Uh let's see. Ooh. What is the last two expensive? But forty-seven Lucky Crafts. I mean, some are used, some are old. Not used, but uh. Well, anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Uh, give me your thoughts on it, and uh, sub to the channel if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hope you guys like these. Uh, Kind of like insider trading videos, you know? <laughs>